said before, this MOOC focuses on the potentials of applying the basic structure, methods and the mindset of design thinking in higher education. Yes, because learning and embracing design principles is important for all fields of work, jobs and for society in general. Students are not only encouraged to engage in every step of the design thinking process, but also to maintain an overview of all steps and how they are connected. Students work in an intense, self-reliant way, alone and in small groups, plunging deeply into interdisciplinary and innovative knowledge production. This addresses all levels of learning taxonomies, like the one from Bloom et al. It is a way to put theoretical frameworks like connectivism and problem-based learning to action. Therefore, applying design thinking fosters the shift from teaching to learning. Using diversity of approaches, cognitive, metacognitive, social, cultural, technological. Using digital tools and ways to collaborate. Evolving key competences like data literacy, creativity, persistence, adaptability, recognizing and tackling complex problems, abilities connected to teamwork, giving and receiving feedback, the art of reflecting, and so on. As real-world problems and creative solutions to them are in focus, applying design thinking also has an intense connection to education for sustainable development. The mindset of the students is in a very intense way shaped by actively doing instead of passively waiting for input. How to start applying design thinking? An essential starting point is a didactical framework and a design plan. In the materials for this step, you will find an overview of important steps that should be taken into account. Every lecture is part of a module a curriculum and should contribute to the overall learning goals. An important option to consider is to combine several lectures across different study programs following the principles of interdisciplinarity of design thinking. How much time should be planned for implementing design thinking in teaching? There is no simple answer to this question. A process of design thinking can be experienced within a time frame of maybe three hours. Sometimes the focus of a lecture may not be on the whole process, but on a single phase like empathizing or ideating, or on a methodical approach that is typically used there. Also, the process may, might last longer than a semester, maybe a year or, or more. In any case, it is important to enable access to overview on the science thinking step, principles and methods. It is very important to understand, build upon and put into action the principles of giving and taking feedback. Students should be encouraged to experiment with various feedback methods and reflect on skills connected with the art of feedback. These steps can also support dealing with the process of drafting and reflecting on group rules. It is important to maintain a good overview of the basic challenge all collected materials, results and documentation of the ideation and iteration steps with students. An essential component right from the start is keeping collaborative learning logbooks. Some groups will need support in finding stakeholders or challenge owners and staying in contact with them. The necessary mindset. All these effects mentioned here for students also apply to the didactical skills of teachers. They also set other important aspects in motion, like reflecting the own role as a facilitator, who enables and accompanies processes of knowledge production. Another important difference to normal teaching is supporting students more directly in grasping and living their role of collaborative ownership of the learning process. Of course, the teacher still has a great deal of responsibility and the aim is to share and co-create this aspect of the role. Therefore, students won't wait for a teacher to tell them what to do. In a more intense way, they come up with their own plans and ideas and are urged to challenge each other, 
and to step into the flow of ideation and iteration. Suggestions for grading. Lectures that follow the mindset and methods of design thinking should also be characterized by the assessment process, establishing and maintaining together a safe working and learning space that allows learners to put ideas to test, succeed or fail, and learn from these experiences. In doing so, they develop and sharpen their future skills and grow on a professional and personal level. Feedback and reflection play an essential role in supporting this process. Grading should be based on a 360 degree feedback. Feedback comes from teachers, stakeholders, experts that react on small and big steps in the design thinking process. Feedback also comes from co-learners, for instance, to presentations of interview results and observations on the threshold between the phases of emphasize and define, or to pitches of ideas. Learners define their personal learning goals for personal development. It is important to def define personal goals at the beginning of the lecture. The learners need to set goals that they want to achieve for the future and therefore develop their self-determination. The goals and their reflection produce a constant flow of input to an e-portfolio. To support students maintaining this, they also need impulse questions that can be reflected and amended together. Another possible source for assessment is to integrate learning triads, where students meet regularly and reflect their learning process, the results of which afterwards show in the e-portfolio. Also, as part of the 360 degree feedback, an assessment talk can form the core of grading. In preparation for this, learners could prepare a written assessment report or a video, audio or other creative work as part of the portfolio. In this report, learners reflect on the defined learning goals. Based on their newly acquired competencies, they suggest to the teacher the grade they deserve for their performance and argue why. The great decision will be based on a joint reflective discussion between the learner, teacher, as well as external stakeholders and end users. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.